My name is Zach Cagle. I'm the marketing product specialist for utility, mid-range, and high horsepower Massey Ferguson tractors. Today I want to show you around the Massey Ferguson 6700 S-Series tractor. The Massey Ferguson 6700 S-Series consists of four models. The 6714 at 140 engine horsepower, the 6715 at 150, the 6716 at 160, and the 6718 at 180 engine horsepower. These tractors run a 4.9 liter Agco Power four-cylinder engine. They meet tier four emissions requirements without the use of a diesel particulate filter. They use a SCR system, which runs DEF fluid, and also a diesel oxidation catalyst. This system saves you time by not having to perform a regeneration during uptime. The 6700 S series is available with two transmission options, our Dyna 6 Power Shift, which is a 24 speed power shift, or our Dyna VT, a CVT transmission. The Dyna 6 24 speed power shift is a great transmission, it's simple to use, offers 24 shiftable gears. The Dyna VT is a premium transmission. It's a continuously variable transmission, meaning that you can get to that perfect speed when you're working out in the field, where you're pulling a baler or something that requires just a little bit more, just a little bit less. You can always get to that perfect speed independent of your engine RPMs. Shown here is our suspended front axle. The 6700 S series offers two front axles, one being a standard fixed front axle and also our suspended front axle. The standard fixed front axle offers a, a decent ride, but the suspended front axle is really going to make your day easier when you're working out in a, a rough field or you've got a long day. Both offer great maneuverability. The wheelbase on this tractor is kind of a medium, let's say, for a uh, between a 7700S and a 5700S. This tractor still has great turning radius. Uh, we can get in and out of the barnyard, especially if you put a loader on this tractor. Makes for great maneuverability. Ability. The 6700S series can be ordered from the factory with a loader option. These loaders are controlled with a mechanical multifunction joystick or an electrical multifunction joystick, your choice. We put a heavy duty FL loader on these. You have a choice of mechanical self leveling or non self leveling. The FL loaders come standard with soft drive, meaning that when you're going down the road with a round bell or something heavy in the bucket, you get a little bit of shock. You're not putting so much stress on the front axle. There's a little bit of forgiveness in that loader for you. Depending on your work environment and conditions, you may opt for front fenders. On the 6700 S series, we offer two fender options. One is the standard width fender shown here, and also a wide width fender is optional as well. These are pivoting front fenders, so we don't interfere with our turning radius of our front axle. We offer three rear axle options on the 6700 S series. Available with a flange axle, a short bar axle is shown here, as well as a long bar axle. Depending on what you're doing, uh, whether it be a row crop application or you're just using it as a loader tractor, depending on your spacing, we offer options for all applications. We offer two lighting packages on the 6700S, the standard halogens and the LED work package. Behind me here you'll see the LED package. This offers exceptional lighting for operators that are working at night. You'll see we have two work lights on each side of the cab and then four mounted to the top of the cab. At the rear of the tractor, you'll notice two mounted on the fenders and two mounted to the cab. The LED will tend to give you a much wider spread of light, meaning you don't have any blind spots. In today's world, implements require more hydraulic flow than ever before. We offer three different pumps on the 6700S. The first one being the 26 gallon per minute twin flow system. We also offer a 29 gallon per minute closed center load sensing system. And the last is a 50 gallon per minute closed center load sensing system as well. As you can see here, this tractor is equipped with four rear remotes. A fifth is optional. Each remote is equipped with a pressure relief lever, so we can release the pressure off of a implement line and easily remove or hook that implement line up. Also available is a power beyond and free flow return valve fitting. Let me tell you about the three point hitch. This is a category two or three three point hitch. We've got the extendable link ends here, adjustable telescoping stabilizers, Heavy duty, three point lift cylinders. This tractor is capable of lifting over 11,000 pounds 
of implement 24 inches behind the link ends. Very powerful, heavy duty tractor. You'll also notice how heavy duty built the drawbar system is. Here's the cab suspension for the tractor. The tractor comes in three different options. You can choose to have no cab suspension, which is gonna offer a poor ride quality. We also have our cab suspension standard, which is just a mechanical spring shock here. And then we also offer our active cab suspension, meaning that you can adjust the firmness in the cab. So if you're going down the road and you want that cab to not be shaking so much on you, you can jack that firmness up a little bit. But if you're going across the field and you want that ride to be a little bit softer, we can lower that down. And there's also an automatic mode on there where the tractor will automatically change the firmness based on preset settings. At the rear fender, you'll notice three functions that make your job a lot easier. One is the PTO on and off switch. We can control one of our rear remotes here. So let's say we've got a hydraulic jack on a baler or something. We can simply plug that implement in to one of the valves, raise that thing up and down from the touch of the fender. Also available here are the three-point controls. So let's say you're hooking up a mounted implement, you back the tractor up and you get out and you realize that you don't have your three-point link arms just right. Simply just reach up here, move it up and down to meet the implement. These tractors are available with ISO bus. So if you have a baler or an implement that may be ISO bus compliant, all we need to do plug that in and we'll be able to run that implement through our Field Star 5 terminal within the cab. Right away when you climb into the cab of the 6700 S series, you'll understand what the S series stands for. Premium, comfort, simplicity, it's just a great cab. You can see well out of it, the visibility is good, and you're comfortable. Those long days in the field, that's a big, big thing for you. You'll see here we have tilt and telescopic steering. Get that steering wheel right where you need it. You'll also notice we have standard here, an instructor seat, air ride seat. Two options for that. Our super luxe seat offers some added features like heated and lumbar support. Optional on the 6700 S series is our Field Star 5 monitor. This monitor is capable of supporting a camera. So let's say we wanted to view our Nodder stack on a baler, we could put a camera there and display it here on our Field Star 5 monitor. We also have the ability to run an ISO bus implement. Right now we don't have one plugged in, but let's say we had a round baler and we wanted to plug it into this tractor, we could operate that ISO compliant round baler through this Field Star 5 monitor. The next thing and the last thing is what we can do with auto guidance. This tractor can be equipped with precision technology through Novatel or Trimble receivers and operated through our Field Star 5 terminal. We can set different levels of accuracy depending on your needs. All of that is available through subscriptions and upgrades, as well as we can run section control and variable rate through this monitor. Also optional on the 6700S series is our C1000 monitor. This is gonna control all of our tractor functions. For example, we could change our hydraulic flow rates here, and we could also set our H3 and H4 functions. Let's say right now they're set to auto guide and lower our three point hitch so that we can go right here to our joystick and very simply raise and lower with our hot buttons on our H3 and H4. This is our multi-pad joystick. It's optional on the 6700S series. This controls our speed by simply pushing forward or pulling back. This is a Dyna VT or available in the Dyna 6 transmission as well. This button here controls our PTO on and off. This button controls our automatic preset engine speed. This controls our three point hitch up, neutral and down. This is the C1 or Cruise Speed 1 and Cruise Speed 2. These are both, both adjustable, so you can set, say for example, this one to five miles per hour and this one to seven miles per hour. And you simply click it and you start going to that Cruise Speed 1. This is to control one of our rear remotes. So this would be extend, this would be retract, and this would be float. This is our headland management button. So we can set this to start a sequence or we can simply set it to engage auto guide. This will shuttle the tractor, meaning that we can go forward or we can ask the tractor to go back. This is our multifunction joystick. If we have the tractor equipped with a loader, we can control our loader here. 
or if we want to control our number one and number two rear remotes, moving the joystick this way would control remote one and moving the joystick this way would control remote two. This is our shuttle. So let's say we're running a loader and we get ready to go in reverse, we simply hit the reverse button, or if we wanna go forward, we simply hit the forward button. This is also a transmission setting, so we can slow the tractor down or speed the tractor up here. This is our H3 and H4 buttons, so these are assignable. We could even assign it to engage auto guide or lower our three-point hitch, or we could also assign this to be a live third function, so we could close a grapple and open a grapple here. These are fully assignable however you want to put them. Conveniently located on the armrest, is our throttle control and also our position control for our three-point hitch. On the console, we have remotes three and four here. These are electric fingertip controls. And also down here, this is where we lock and unlock all of our hydraulics for safety. In the Dyna VT tractor, this is our dynamic tractor management button. This is where we set our cruise speed one and cruise speed two. We can raise and lower here. This will change the tractor from pedal mode to T-lever or multi-pad mode. So meaning that you can press the foot pedal down in pedal mode to increase the speed of the tractor or let off to lower the speed of the tractor. So let's say for example, I wanted to adjust my C1 or cruise speed one to seven miles per hour. I'd simply roll the dial up to seven miles per hour. This is our PTO switch. We simply press forward to turn the PTO on, push it back to turn it off. This is our auto button. So let's say, for example, we wanted to raise our three-point hitch and the tractor also turned the PTO off at the same time. Then when we let the three-point hitch back down, the PTO would automatically re-engage. Over here on the B-pillar, everything's conveniently located. Some of our cab suspension, our auto guide buttons, our front axle suspension, differential locks, four-wheel drives, lights, ignition switch, our hazard lights. This is where we can change our multifunction joystick to loader or to rear remotes. Then we have a max height setting for our three-point hitch, our rate of drop for our three-point hitch, our draft control, as well as our soft ride. This means that if we're carrying a heavy implement on our three-point hitch, we can turn this on and have a little bit of shock going down the road. This is our 540, 540 Eco, 1000, 1000 Eco PTO settings. And here are all of our work lights as well as our beacon control light. So we've looked at all of the features on the 6700 series tractor. I think you've noticed that you can spec that tractor down or you can spec it all the way up as high as you want. Go to the highest level precision technology, multi-pad, multi-function joystick to make your life a lot easier. If you want to know more about the 6700S series tractors, I would encourage you to go visit your local dealer or visit our webpage at MasseyFerguson.us.